Hi, I'm Annie Mayo, professional makeup artist, and this is Nicole. And today we're going to show you makeup ideas for light skin and blonde hair. Here's how we're going to start. The first thing we're going to do is use a concealer under Nicole's eyes. I've picked the beige cream from the Advanced Mineral Makeup line. This does come with a little sponge tip applicator, and Nicole is a little bit dark right in this area. So what we're going to do is dab the concealer on, and then we're also going to use the concealer on her lids. This will serve as a shadow base. The reason why you use concealer is to add dimension to the face, so the light has a place to bounce off of. Then we're going to take our foundation brush and just blend it under the eyes, keeping the concentration on the inner corner and on this darkness right in here. Look how that just illuminates her face and also gives the face dimension. Next thing we're going to do is pick a beautiful color for her skin. I've chosen creme brulee. We take the creme brulee and we put a little bit on our hand. I like to use foundation brushes. You're going to get a much more even application with the foundation brush other than just using your fingers. Dip the brush into the foundation. Work a section of the face at a time. Now, you can adjust the coverage to what you want. You can make it a light coverage, you can make it a medium coverage, or you can use a stippling method to give you a heavier coverage. And I think that is the coverage that she needs. You're going to blend it down in the neck just a bit, just to give that neck continuity with the rest of the face. And that is the application of the foundation. Now we're going to do a light dusting of the Taylor powder. So we're just going to take our brush, tap off the excess, and then just tap the minerals into the top of the brush. Let them fall down in the brush a little bit. Do a light dusting, starting on the forehead, and working your way down. This will give you not only the extra SPF, the extra protection for your skin, but it also give you just more of a finished look. Okay, so now we're gonna look at our shadows. So what I've chosen for Nicole is the Advanced Mineral Eyeshadow Kit, Blusher and Luminizer. We're going to use the nice natural colors because we are doing a very natural look. So take your shadow brush and dip it into the vanilla. We're going to use vanilla all over her lid. Actually, we're going to take it all over under her brow also. This will just lighten up the lid, make her eyes appear a little bit larger. And then we can go back and add a little bit of a bronzy color. All right, now let's take Heather. Tapping off because these are 100% pigment, so you don't need to use a lot. Let's just put this right here on this outer corner, sweeping up a little bit toward this bone. And look how I'm applying it on an angle on the lid, and then feathering it up to that brow bone. This will give you a nice, natural look. So the next thing we're going to do is take our gel eyeliner pencil. All right, so let's just apply a little bit of the gel liner. The liner is going close to the base of the lash, a little more than halfway across. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. All right, I think that's really pretty. Mascara is next. And the next thing we'll do is add some blush. So keeping with that theme of being very natural, what I'm going to do is take my foundation brush and using the cream luminizer in So Beautiful Peach, this will be her blusher. Now this has a beautiful luminescence to it. So just put it right on that cheekbone. Go ahead and give me a big smile, Nicole. This is where she would normally blush the apple of her cheek she didn't have any makeup on. So we're going to start there and then work back into the hairline. We're also going to take a little bit of the cream luminizer and just give her a little bit of a halo effect around her forehead 
And then we're going to go to the other side. Big smile. And look at that beautiful, natural look she's attaining. A little bit on the chin, a little bit down the center of the nose. It's just going to give you a little bit of color. Okay, now because we want this to be a very natural look, we're also going to take a little bit of the eyeshadow. Yes, the eyeshadow in bronze chocolate. Now remember, all the products are interchangeable, so you can use everything for cheek size and lips. And apply a little bit of that bronze to the lips lightly. And this will serve as a base where it keeps her lipstick or gloss on a little bit longer. And then we're going to put the cream luminizer directly on top of that. You can apply this with a lip brush. You could apply it with a foundation brush. You can even do it with your finger if you want. Given her a beautiful natural look. We've evened out her skin tone. Her eyes pop, her lips pop and she has that beautiful luminescence to her skin.